I've said in other videos that Linux is the best platform for gaming, and I stand by that. But many articles and benchmarks have shown that some games don't work as well on Linux as they do on Windows. I think we should explore this. Hi, I'm the Linux Gamer, and let's explore why Linux gaming performance sucks. What got me thinking about this issue was the fact that No Man's Sky ran so poorly on Windows compared to PS4 on launch. And this isn't a one-time thing, this issue really has dogged Windows launches in the past. This is Batman Arkham Knight. It was released for Xbox, for PlayStation, and Windows. This, and many more games like it, have terrible, comparatively worse performance on their PC release. So why does it seem like Windows gets the short straw with these multi-platform titles? When you can answer this question, you start to understand why gaming performance on Linux can suck. In fact, gaming on Linux is a better and more enjoyable experience with most games. I've covered this topic in another video you can check out here. I'm not a numbers guy. In my opinion, benchmarks and one-to-one -one comparisons really aren't all that helpful. But there are games that run significantly better on Linux than they do on Windows. Dota 2 and other Valve games have a significant advantage. Instinctively, this feels right. This is how games should be. Why? Because Linux has a more streamlined architecture, there's less overhead, and there's more resources available to the game. So why do Windows releases get the short end of the stick? It has to do with the current model of game development. You see, game developers build their games for the closed platforms that Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft proffer. They do so at the behest of their publisher, and often PCs are an afterthought. And the developers don't spend as much time getting their games polished and optimized for the PC because of budgetary constraints or other concerns the publisher might have. Now back to the main question. Why does Linux gaming performance sometimes suck? It's for the same reason. I've heard many theories about how it's the display driver, and a few years ago that might have been a valid issue. But we're approaching parity, and at this point that's a lame excuse. Now, the problem is that there's this idea that Linux isn't a viable gaming platform, or that the Linux gaming audience is too small or too niche. There are many devs and publishers who disagree with this, but even then, some of them don't know what they're doing, or don't give the developers enough time to port their games properly. Here's the deal, even though a handful of games might run worse on Linux, I still think Linux is a better platform for gaming. Now I hear you asking, how can it be better if some games run worse? Slowly over the next five years, Microsoft will force patch Windows 10 to make Steam progressively worse and more broken. They'll never completely break it, but they will continue to break it until, in five years, people are so fed up that Steam is buggy that the Windows Store will seem like an ideal alternative. That's exactly what they did with their previous competitors in other areas, and now they're going to do it to Steam. Tim Sweeney of Epic Games. If we stay the course and allow Microsoft to monopolize the desktop operating system, then we're slowly ushering in the death of everything that makes PCs great. They've already started locking down PC hardware. They're forcing old versions of Windows to upgrade to Windows 10. They're deleting Linux partitions on accident. They're making second party devs publish inferior builds of their games to the Windows Store. And they're pushing their Windows signature line, which is robbing consumers of choice of which operating system they even want to use. If these anti-competitive practices continue, Tim Sweeney's prophetic words about Steam won't be our only concern. A Windows environment that's locked into a closed distribution model might prevent you from using Chrome or Firefox unless you get it from Microsoft. It could force you to use Windows Media Player instead of VLC. And let's not forget how a company with that level of control can throw its weight around. They could implement mandatory DRM on all software. They could block out the Humble Store or GOG. They could even outlaw the GPL. Anyone who appreciates PC gaming for its myriad of choices has to realize that Microsoft wouldn't let that continue. The fact is, in the Linux world, there's no one corporation to make rules or decide to wall off the garden. Linux is built with openness in mind, and its license is free software under the GNU General Public License. Linux is better for gaming for one simple reason. Choice. So even if big AAA games are running 10% slower on Linux, I'm still going to be having fun. And let's not forget about indies. They don't seem to have the same trouble that big releases do. Games like Undertale, Rocket League, What the Box, Hyperlight Drifter, Stardew Valley, they prove that Linux gaming is a force to be reckoned with. But I think sometimes we lose sight of what's really important when it comes to games. I don't care if a game runs at 800 FPS or 60. All I care about is if a game is fun. But I can tell you one thing that isn't fun. This stupid debate about game performance. Who cares? 
I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it's fun to debate about performance issues? Um, let me know in the comments below, uh, or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You can also support the channel over on Patreon. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my Force Showdown Show and Tell, my uh, Rocket League review, or you can listen to me over on Jupiter Broadcasting's Linux Unplugged. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Chris. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. I want to say thanks to everyone on the EG.io server who helped me with this video. EG, Teal, Ghost Squad, Pseudo Shred, and Ryan Sipes. You guys are awesome. I'll have a link to the EG.io Discord server down in the description. And if you guys aren't busy, I'm also doing my own Discord server. Uh, I'll have a link down there as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Rocket League!